Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the Sugar by Chili Surfboards. So the Sugar I've been riding is a stock 5.6 and it comes exactly 5.6, 20 and 3 quarters, 2 and 7 sixteenths and exactly 31.2 litres. So the Sugar is a pretty classic kind of twin fin design that Chile have come out with recently. And I actually saw um, a little while ago some clips of one of their team riders that's over in Bali, a guy called Lee Wilson. I saw some clips of him surfing it and um, he drew some really interesting lines and did some kind of really high performance, he's a great surfer, but some kind of high performance surfing, uh, very vertical, airs and whatnot that you don't normally see on this kind of kind of twin fin, normally with a keel fin kind of design board. So I was really keen to check one out and see how it goes. So looking over the sugar, um, it's got your pretty classic kind of twin fin design, it's quite wide and short, very round. Um, it has just a gentle kind of rocker throughout the board. Um, and then it's quite actually a flat deck, and if you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, the rail actually drops away to quite a low rail, just to give us some nice kind of bite in the wave fight, uh, in the wave face. Um, and then coming through, it has another classic kind of design of a kind of twin fin in the fish. Um, it has a beak, so the beak just allows, kind of drops away and it holds foam through the front of the board, and just makes the paddle and whatnot a little bit easier. Um, flipping over the sugar. It feels like it has just a very gentle single, um, nothing too deep, that comes through the bottom here. And it feels like a bit of a double that comes through the fins there, um, and then just out the back of the board. And as you can see, it's got a really kind of deep swallow. Um, so as I said, I saw Lee Wilson surfing this board and doing some pretty high performance and pretty critical surfing. I was really keen to check this out. Uh, he's a much, much better surfer than me and gets a lot better waves over in Bali than I do back here in Sydney. Um, but first few surfs of the board, we actually got some kind of pretty fun waves. Um, and I really enjoyed it, and it was, I was a bit shocked at, it looks like that kind of classic kind of fish design, but what was actually interesting about the board is if you have a look in the back here, um, I don't know if you can notice when you look at other boards that are very similar, these fins are actually set quite far back. Um, I'm not sure of the exact kind of measurements, but it's a, it looks at least a few inches, uh, which allows you to ride the board with an upright fin. Uh, you can put a keel fin in the board, but I rode it with an upright, and that allowed to kind of do some more vertical surfing. And what was really enjoyable about that was, with the board, you had the, the characteristics of the classic kind of fish um, kind of designs. The board had a lot of flow, uh, so it paddled really well, had a lot of flow, and that wide tail kept kind of speed over flat sections um, and gave a lot of board a lot of pace and a lot of flow. But that upright fin, and the fins being a little bit further in the back, allowed you to, when you got a section, you could kind of really jam on it and do some kind of more critical and vertical surfing. And you know, for someone who's maybe not used to like that fish kind of design um, of a board and is used to like a performance shortboard, it allowed you to still do some of that kind of surfing, which was really, really cool. Um, as I said, it has the fins that are set a little bit further back, and that allowed you to ride an upright fin. So the majority of the time I rode what is the EN by Futures, so that's an upright twin fin. Um, and the good thing about the EN is it's actually designed, it doesn't come with a stabilizer. So there's actually quite a lot of surface area in the fin. It has quite a lot of hold. Uh, when I first got the board, I couldn't get my hands on the ENs and I actually rode the T1. Uh, the T1 actually has significantly less surface area, um, but for quite a heavy guy, it still had enough hold and the T1s were fine, but the ENs are just a little bit stiffer, have a little bit more surface area and they felt a little bit better on the board and I really enjoyed them. Um, the volume on the sugar is uh, 31.2 litres and that felt exactly spot on. This is about a litre and a half to two litres above what I normally ride in a shortboard um, and it felt really, really good. I paddled into all the waves I wanted, had a lot of flow and a lot of pace down the line, it got across flat sections and it made surfing really easy and really, really fun. Uh, overall, I'd say the sugar would be for almost anyone. The characteristics of the board make surfing really easy. Paddling, getting into waves, um, it has a lot of flow and a lot of pace. It makes surfing really, really easy. And if someone's maybe an intermediate to an advanced surfer, I think the design with the fin set a little bit further back in the board and lets you ride an upright fin, I think it allows someone who's probably a really good surfer to do some more critical um, and some more kind of performance surfing, which you, 
you know, sometimes I think in some of these fish designs boards are a little bit limited with that kind of stuff. While they might be really fun, you get a lot of flow and a lot of pace and you can draw your turns out more. You get that section, you want to surf a little bit more um, kind of performance. They're sometimes a little bit limited, but the sugar is and it has the best kind of both worlds and I really enjoyed that. Um, I really enjoyed riding the sugar. It was a lot of fun and a little bit different than those other fishes out there. I think that's why I really enjoyed it. And hope you get a chance to check one out. Thanks so much for watching.